One that is Jackie Mars. Jackie with the, the ownership of Landmarks Monte Carlo. We know how this one is named because it's by Formula One, so that's why they get the name Monte Carlo. Lauren Nicholson in the iron second ride for Lauren. We saw her yesterday with Vermiculus. Vermiculus still just outside the top 10, 15th position as things currently stand. US Olympian Lauren. And Patrick, as he's called in the stable, he's really a lovely lovely little person he's not a very big horse uh and yet the work that she has been able to do with this horse in the dressage over the years is is something that i take my hat off to her because there was there's been no natural trot and loft and yet she has concentrated on exactly what the judges can reward her for which is accuracy transitions beautiful changes and then it is a just a it is a Monte Carlo on the cross country. It is a very fast little horse. Is this the horse you won the Land Rover Ride of the Day on a couple it of years is, ago? It, it yeah. is indeed. That's a, a special prize at Kentucky before Land Rover became title sponsors to uh, recognize the very best cross country round of the day. Lauren has had several completions at the Kentucky venue at the five star with this horse. They've been runners up at the level below four star long at Jockey Club, which was a tough track down in Ocala, Florida. And uh, they've been top fives in four star short competitions at Red Hills and Great Meadow. She just doesn't have the big step. And yet, she really tries to not leave any points on the board for her accuracy, for her straightness, for the frame, for the suppleness. Patrick, it's enough of that. Of course, I've known this horse since the day he was born. And this full brother also competes, that's Landmarks Monaco. Uh, with Kimmy Sassir, and she uh, has that horse going at the four star level, and the full brothers are both doing quite well. How old is Patrick now? He's pretty getting up there. He is 15. Yeah. There's just nice smoothness about her ride going from one movement to the next. It's sort of seamless. And, and now she's glad she's out of the trot. Because <laughs> the canter work is really, normally is quite stunning. Okay, she'll get a good mark for that. While well, we've been busy watching the main arena for the last two days in the USEF National Three Star Championships and the uh, Five Star, the inaugural Five Star, um, as Karen alluded to earlier, most of these riders are incredibly busy with baby horses as well. We have the United States Eventing Association Young Horse East Coast Championships for the young horses. What, fours, fives, and sixes is it that are here, Karen? Yes, it's five year olds this time. Well, I just got a, um, a text from my friend Max who said, Karen, Will's horse is a gelding. <laughs> Thanks, Max. It's all right. We've all done that. I, I pretty much universally call all horses he and claim that, you know, I'm Irish and that's what we do with animals because, you know, I speak a different language. <laughs> Very, very nice change. He'd love to see it jump up more and jump through into the change so that it's reaching more from uh, in the last bit of the change instead of just, you know, as they say, an auto swap. Um, we'll see if she can get a little more jump out of this one from left to right on the straight. Yeah, 
The half pass sets you up for a better loft in your change because of the engagement required for the half pass. Uh, when you're just on the straight, it's not as easy to get that kind of engagement so that you can get the horse to jump up through. See what happens here. Kind of missed it, but it looked better. And she's keeping the horse very, very straight through its body. It's really important that that's the accuracy that I'm talking about. It's not just going where you scribe your, where the footprints are. It's, it's what kind of shape is the horse's body in longitudinally, but also laterally. And you can see that Lauren's not afraid at all to just let the reins go and the rhythm stays the same and the horse is stretching through and she really trusts, trusts Patrick. So this one is on the straight. Let's see if she can really keep, get some engagement and get him to jump up. Yeah. That was good. She did a nice job just keeping him slightly curled around her left leg as it was on the approach whilst keeping the body going straight. Just help his balance oh, and to help oh. him move through. Oh, God, you could, I bet she couldn't do that again if she tried. A little Pasadena <laughs> on the uh, final. Was he a Pasadena right there for a second? Oh my goodness, that was funny. <laughs> when she sees the video of that, I want to see her do it again. So full-time eventing horse, part-time ballroom dancer. <laughs> and Marks Monte Carlo and Lauren Nicholson. I just want to see a moonwalk out. Oh, no, you see, that's bad because that's dragging in the dragging the feet in the rain oh, back. That's, that's a mark right. down. It's not a forward movement. <laughs> Very popular. Well done, Lauren. Well done, Mrs. Mars. I, mean, I have to say, uh, you <laughs> know, Mars Equestrian, fantastic supporters here. They are supporting our live stream and being uh, supporting sponsors of the Maryland Five Star. And that is not just because of the Mars family, not just Jackie, but a number of members of the Mars family very closely involved in equestrian sport. But that's family history. Snickers Mars are called Snickers Mars after the Mars family pony. Um, but Mars Equestrian is a corporate organization. They are making these choices to support our sport and invest in our sport on, on a commercial basis, which is fantastic showing that a, an organization like that can, can be interested in. And together we've got the synergy to really bring our equestrian sports into the mainstream. Well, and through their efforts and that of the equestrian, the uh, Mars Equestrian, they're directly changing, they're directly changing riders and they're indirectly changing hundreds of thousands of people in the industry and we couldn't be more grateful. What a great test she had. She should be thrilled. Well, well, let's see where it goes on the leaderboard. We weren't getting a lot of live scoring during it, so we didn't know quite where they were going to pop up. I can tell you that it is continuing. Very good news for the United States of America because it's 28.5. Look at that. Good for her. 70% from two of the judges. C and H are at 70%. C and M are at 70%. 72. Oh, where am I? 74% from the judge at E on the side for Lauren Nicholson, 28.5. The judge at E is uh, Martin, Martin yeah. put her third in the ranking. Interesting. But again, that, you know, especially in the canter and the changes, that's about delivering on his subject matter expertise, what he sees best from that sure. box. Sure. So Lauren Nicholson and Landmarks Monte Carlo in sixth best at the moment on 28.5. But I think it's so interesting because Martin is a German, and so, you know, there's so much big movement in, of the German horse, and yet he rewards her for that lovely, accurate test. You talk about supporting riders, Mrs. Mars, Hannah Sue, Lynn, and Lauren, all bang, 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 <laughs> there yeah. on the leaderboard. Yeah. Philip Dutton comes down the center line. Philip, a seven-time Olympian. He rides Fernhill, Singapore, Dutch warm blood by Singapore, owned by... David Voss, Thomas Tierney, and Annie Jones. I'm sure they're all here, but I did. I was lucky enough to catch up with Annie the other day. 